Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, uh, we'll be working with finishers. Okay. And before I go over there, like I would like to fix an issue or it's not an issue actually. Like I forgot to add the combo maker during counter in my previous lecture. Okay. So I will just add that in before I move into the finishers. Okay. So let's go ahead and add that. So for that, what I'll do is I'll um, go to the montage first, uh, where we play the counter. So this is the counter, right? And this is the animation over here. Let's go over there. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And we will actually add a notify over here. So let's go ahead and create that notify first. So blueprints and you notify yeah blueprint class and you notify i'll call this an underscore counter hit okay and on receive notify we want to get the owner sorry get owner make sure it's valid then um, get component by class actually the owner will always be valid so yeah just make sure this component is valid actually you know what uh, later on we might actually die so yeah still need to check if it is valid or not what if we die in the middle of an attack yeah we get hit so it might happen. So FFC. Um, now from there, we go to add the combo counter. Okay. And also one more thing. Over here we set the counter enemy over here directly, right? So I'll set it after the hit, okay? On the counter. So counter hit, let's go ahead. I would have punched him by the time I reach this position, right? So yeah, I'll just add it over here. And also um we set no not reset, sorry, set counter in to be null over here okay make sure this returns true uh, return false from here okay there we go and let's go ahead and play three four yeah perfect works just fine also i get uh, blocked over here right by the enemy over there so hmm. over here notify state change collision response this over here mm. right uh, teleport over here should be collision response when we teleport right um, the other one does not make sense this one it does not make sense so i'll just delete that and over here i would yeah get the capsule component collision set 
Kollege. Channel spawn. The channel. Overlap. How oh, ignore. And then unfinished. want to block and that is fine now this should fix an issue whatever issue we have seems to be working which is good yep so let's go ahead uh, let's move to the next part and also another thing um Okay, not this one. So in the behavior tree, we have the attack, um, receive, execute. Over here, um, change collision response. Because I'm teleporting over there, so there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and test it now. Um, there should not be any issue over here. So. Um, there we go. Seems good. Also, what's this one? Um, for some reason, the is valid does not actually work properly with this. Mm, message lock, uh, accident trying to read property, get blackboard. So get blackboard I'm doing is valid check what's wrong with it. Is valid. Now uh, I know when this happens it's but this should have fixed it. Is my point. Um actor retrieve failed. This is when it happens, see, at the retrieve field. So now, yeah, see, now it doesn't give you an error actually, a game crashing error. If you use this macro, is valid. Uh, I don't know why it, it gives it on the uh, function though. So anyway, uh, I have it changed over there. So, okay, now let's go ahead with the finishers, okay? So for that, we need the animations so let's go to our finishers and i already have seen a few so yeah this one i want to use for my finisher and i'll create the animontages animontages and finisher e for player mm, am underscore finisher e Okay. For any. Okay. So now let's talk about the logic a bit. Um. So if you have like a combo counter of six or more, right? Then you actually get your finisher ready, right? And then if you press the F button on the keyboard, uh, you can actually like do a finisher move on whatever is the nearest enemy, right? So we'll do the same thing over here. So let's go ahead and go to our inputs actions i'll duplicate the attack and call it my finisher and then in the imc default i'll just add the mapping i'll have this as finisher and press f there we go and now over here i'll go below Right click, I will finish up. There we go. And this will be almost similar to this first part to set tag. Okay. So copy that, paste it here. I'm started. 
we'll check if we are in combat or idle so if we are we get the enemies within range best enemy to go to and then we set that as the current enemy and then we will set our tag not to teleport but we'll make a new step sub tag and this one will be finisher and there we go finisher now you can actually like make the same logic over here like this okay uh, one is with the timeline to teleport otherwise um, something like that uh, long range teleportation but in general what i'll do is i'll do something like this actually just using a timeline okay so response okay so for the current not count away what okay yeah um i'll have to change it i'm setting the current enemy so set current enemy uh not set sorry get current enemy and change it over here and again get current enemy over here and set that also this one i'll name this to finisher timeline finish, uh, not any it should be player okay and obviously once i'm teleporting i also need to rotate the enemy as well right so what i'll do is i'll duplicate this teleport location that is target and this one What's wrong? Let's dig it down. Okay. So uh, now this will be set at the uh, Location we don't need offset, um, but yeah, target would be self. So there we go, and also in the enemy component, we have a function play counter damage so we'll make a custom event and this one will be play finisher montage and now i can copy paste same over here like this And also select all of these um, asset action edit selection in property matrix sure go on root motion enabled okay and force root lock there we go and once that is done we want the same thing over here And also reset on completed right so instead of that we want play 
finish your montage. And this one will be enemy. Okay. Now this is done, which is fine. FFCC. Now this one I want to check another thing over here. Get tag. Matches tag and this one would be finisher. If it is false word, otherwise spring string finisher active. Okay. And there we go. Let's go ahead. Check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, like. Eh? What? Seriously? Current, I did not actually change it to current now, did I? There we go. Now, <clears throat> from the FFCC, what I can do, I already get the counter enemy, right? Get counter enemy. What happens is, stop, uh, not stop, control enemy. Right. Um, get component by class. In component, then control running logic, and there we go. We have the stop. Is founded. Actually, so much logic. I'll just collapse to a function. Reset. Counter enemy. Okay. Over here. Let's go ahead with the is valid. Is valid. Is valid. Okay. Should we just set AI state to random I think this would be better instead of doing that yeah so let's go ahead come on I want him to compose press F my man like why did you stop like that what's wrong with you Okay, in the behavior tree as well. Let's do both. Let's see what happens. It should actually change. Press F. And as you can see, uh, that guy just stopped over there. Which is good. So five press F. Yeah, see? That guy just changed to something else, which is good. And press F. There we go. So much better. Okay, let's make the final part okay of the finisher that is the logic of the 6x combos so for that let's go to the ac uh, ffcc 
over here at the very end we'll check if it is divisible okay we'll check if it is divisible by six or not okay and if the remainder of after dividing by six if it is equal to zero or not so if it is that means it's a multi the counter is a multiple of uh, six right and that means i can actually go ahead and set finisher to be true okay so finisher can be true right and also we need to check if finisher is true or not like if it is not true then it is false okay so what this means is once the finisher is true it doesn't matter if it is divisible by six or not finisher is still you can still uh, have a finisher because like if it is seven eight i haven't used my finisher i can still use my finisher right so basically that is the logic over here okay in this part again um i would like to add setter and get the as always so set finisher and get finisher okay so you set it over here and get you return and uh, this is what you return and this can be a true function and finisher can be a private one okay so you set finisher to true over here you set finisher to be false over here and you get finisher over here and always uh, and as usual you also not in counter sorry in finisher you also need to check if your finisher is ready or not if your finisher is ready only then you can attack and also another thing um, set counter value you can actually um, set the value over here also set color uh, sorry custom event set counter text color okay so there you go this one just get default there is a structure set member and this is a better choice to do this because i don't want to overwrite every single thing so just get the color split it and get this one okay combine okay fine so in the ffcc eh, i need this set color Okay, um, Probably something like this, otherwise white.
Okay, right. Um, okay. I forgot to actually set the default um cell over right with the out pin over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and now let's play. As you can see, six, seven, eight, nine. Also, another thing <clears throat> is the climber handle for the, what is it? Okay, the combo counter timer handle, okay. So, we need a uh, anim notify, okay. So, I'll just duplicate the counter head, okay. And this one will be finisher hit and also set finisher to be false okay so we want that as well so yeah let's go ahead and do that so a few things now combat window this is fine so yeah there we go and finish your head it can start over here as is to be honest but yeah sure why not just add it where the hit actually is so yeah that works as well so let's go ahead one two if i press f nothing happens five six i press D, and there we go seven nine okay what is this now yeah, <clears throat> forgot I is finally checked. Okay, so another thing once I get hit, right? I should uh, reset the combo counter, and obviously, once you reset your combo counter you also set your finisher to be false right and also another thing is if you counter if it is not valid and you counter even then you should actually reset combo counter right so now let's say i have one two three four five i do the combo then i press mouse two see it reset the again i don't have anyone so it resets to zero which is good and also I have counter now I get hit and it resets to zero C which is good so I cannot do finishers okay so yeah that's all the bugs I can find actually right now if there are I will fix them into uh, in the next lecture okay and obviously like as we go and make this um, uh, sorry add more um, logic and code to this uh, project I mean this uh, project becomes more susceptible to um, bugs right 
and there might be more bugs and things like that but don't worry uh let me know in the comments or in my discord channel okay uh, please do let me know and i would try to uh, get them fixed and also like if you face any bugs yeah if you can make a video and post them in my discord channel that would be really helpful because that actually helps me understand what the actual bug is and where it lies okay and as always uh, if you want to support me and the work that i'm doing you can um, subscribe to my patreon uh, it starts from just one dollar a month okay and also there are different uh tiers based on the needs uh, of different people okay so uh do check it out once thank you